Today, we are going to make tiny foods for a tiny dog. All right, I'm scrolling through Instagram like I do, checking out dogs, and I run across this dog that is so tiny. I'm like, man, that dog is tiny. Dig in a little bit more. The dog's name is Tiny Diamond. As it turns out, Tiny Diamond's family is actually John, who founded the rescue group, I Pity the Bull. The good news is he was on board right away, so he agreed, and I knew I had to come up with an awesome idea. I don't think building a giant dog pit or surprising Tiny Diamond with 100 giant tennis balls <laughs> would really be that exciting to her. So I did some research on the internet and then it just hit me. Let's make everything tiny. What if I shrunk down the dog bakery and the kitchen and the food and made it all tiny diamond size? Oh, and let me tell you her actual story because being tiny isn't what makes her special. It's the fact that she's already been through so much in her little life. That tiny diamond story broke my little heart because she wasn't even a week or so old and someone just dumped her, turned her in, didn't want her. Now thank goodness I stand with my pack, stepped up, and they called John with I Pity the Bull right away and he said, you know what, we'll help, we'll save her. Love comes in all sizes and shapes. I think if we can show Tiny Diamond in our own tiny way that she is love, this will be the biggest video we've ever done. Well, tiniest, biggest video we've ever done. I am an actual pet chef. I own the business called The Dog Bakery and I build bakeries for dogs. So I wanted to make sure every little detail went into getting this bakery just right. Check this out. Wow, now that took hours of work. We hand drew all of the bricks. I mean, making a tiny kitchen is almost just as much work as building a real size bakery for dogs. All right, we've got our rolling pin and check this out. I printed off a little picture of my dog Flip. Let's get the Dog Bakery logo on there. Now we're the real deal. Oh, and I gotta write something down for you here real quick. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Tell you that much. Ooh, ah. Oh, look at that. It is coming together. All right, let's decorate some donuts. Making doggy donuts in the mini version takes time and patience and love. Okay, now the stuff that looks like vanilla is actually yogurt, so it's safe for dogs. And this chocolate here is actually not chocolate at all, it's carob. And carob is safe for dogs because it doesn't have theobromine in it like chocolate does which is really dangerous for dogs. So these will be carob and yogurt topped donuts. I don't know about you, but I actually like a donut that has a good amount of toppings on it. And in my book, I don't think any donut is complete without sprinkles. I don't know how I'm gonna put these sprinkles on here. They're so small. Yes, lots of sprinkles. Wow, look at that. That looks so cool, check that out. Last one. This is so much fun. Look at the carob one there. Oh, and this couldn't have been better timing because Tiny Diamond is showing up right now. Breakfast to serve. was a success, but lunch is even gonna be better because we're making burgers and french fries. Here's something cool. Did you know that I actually make donuts at my store that you can order online? I ship them across the nation and literally it's 
They aren't as many as the mini ones we made. Wow, wow, dogs love them. They come with a bunch of donuts. We even have a pink one there with sprinkles. They're all dog friendly. So you can order those at thedogbakery.com. Go there right now. I'll also put the link down in the description. Check it out. And go sign your dog up for our birthday club. It's free and when it's your dog's birthday, I'll send you discounts and all kinds of other cool stuff for your dog. So go sign up in the description below right now. No doubt burgers are delicious, but I'm also kind of a pasta guy. Like I love spaghetti. So that's what we're gonna make for dinner. Stick around though, because dessert is gonna be awesome. The cake, puppuccino, it's gonna be great. Let's make some pasta. You know what, also I think I'll reference my cookbook here real quick, just to make sure that my Italian recipe is correct. Oh, guys, I love pasta so much. Look at this. Perfect. Drain those noodles, let them cool. This is what I'm best at. We're gonna make a doggy cake and a really small doggy puppuccino. I can't wait to see what Tiny Diamond thinks of these. And I can't wait to see what Kobe thinks. He's blind, it's gonna be super small, so it'll be interesting to see if his super sniffer can find these fake treats. Cake and a puppuccino. Those of these here at the bakery, this one's just for her. Okay, enjoy your cake.
cut you a slice there. That should help. Okay, guess what time it is? Puppuccino time. She only wants it served in a bug. Like a traditional puppuccino. Girl, you gotta slow down, you're gonna get too big. What happens if you get to four pounds? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh, now you're going for it. Okay. <laughs> You've now lost all sensibility. So I got Kobe right here. Kobe! Kobe is just a few months older than Tiny Diamond. So let's see what a puppy that should be about the same size looks like in a tiny food set. <laughs> He's about the same age, but a much bigger puppy. Let's see what happens. I don't know if he'll eat anything because <laughs> He's a little worried right now. Okay, there you go. All right, here. Yeah, put that on the table. Thanks, Blake. Okay. All right. There you go, bud. There's a donut for you. No, oh, don't eat the table. <laughs> Toby's blind. He can't see, so he's got to find it with his nose. This is the smallest treat he's ever had. This is the smallest treat he's ever had for sure. I got an idea. Here you go. Yeah, here, why don't I just bring the whole table to you? The thing is, Kobe's not really hungry right now because he's got a heart condition. He was turned in, he's blind, he's got a heart condition, but you all helped us raise the money for that, and so we're gonna get him the heart surgery he needs coming up soon. Okay, buddy, you're a good boy. And also, he got to meet Tiny Diamond, so I think the one thing he did get out of today is a brand new friend. About the same age, drastically different in size. Today, we are going to make tiny foods for a tiny dog. Okay, here's how it all started. I'm watching my tiny foods videos and I'm thinking, it is time to jump in the tiny bakery and start making some tiny foods. So I go over to Instagram, I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'm looking at all the dogs that you guys have tagged me on, also going to some of my favorite rescues, and sure enough, there is this really tiny dog that actually has five legs. I'm not, I'm not even getting an extra little leg, like an extra little paw, look at this. And I am thinking, wow, I gotta meet this little guy and we've got to make him a tiny little dinner. Now you know on this channel, we go big. I will do whatever it takes to help dogs. I mean from <laughs> giant burgers for dogs to jumping in ball pits to blowing up 100 giant tennis balls. You know, whatever it takes. But in this case, for this puppy, I think going big is actually going tiny. Now I wanna turn this into a series, Tiny Foods for Tiny Rescue Dogs. And I've got just the idea and the way to kick that off. We do Mc McDonald's. I mean, I think we put together a McDonald's, like a McDonald's play place and everything. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a minute, but first, let me tell you about this little man's story. Now, the fact that he's tiny isn't actually what makes him special. You see, what makes him special is the fact that he's different, and he doesn't let his differences stop him from being happy. You see, someone didn't want this little guy. They felt he wasn't perfect, so they thought they couldn't sell him or that no one would love him, but thank goodness the shelter called Road Dogs, and Road Dogs said, we'll help. Now they were worried at first, the shelter was concerned that he might have an enlarged heart, but it turned out that wasn't the case. Now maybe his heart was really big, but it wasn't enlarged. And he just had something a little extra special, as he was gifted with an extra leg or, or a little paw. And get this, his name, Xavier, which is perfect. And so his nickname is X-Man. I think if we can show tiny X-Man that we love him in our own tiny way, this could be one of the best videos that we've ever done. I am an actual pet chef. I own the business called The Dog Bakery, and I build bakeries for dogs. Okay, now I'm reassembling my tiny bakery that's a replica of my big bakery, and I need to make sure every detail is right. Wow, okay, that was a lot of work. That took a lot of time, but it's all together, and it's time to start cooking. If you love dogs, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's get started. has a 
lot of batter on it. This is gonna be a good little nugget. Okay, here we go. It's time to take our nugget and put it in the fryer. Ooh, hot, ah, that's hot. Look at that nugget, that is amazing. Okay buddy, your order's up, some chicken nuggets. Okay, buddy, you want me to make you some more McDonald's stuff? Why don't we do this? Why don't you go play in the McDonald's play place and I'll bake you up some french fries. Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna attempt something really bold. McDonald's Golden Brown World Famous French Fries. Here's some golden brown french fries, X-Man. It's time to go make you a burger. Let's go back to the play place. Okay, here comes a fun one. We're gonna make a Big Mac, or I guess <laughs> I guess it would be a Tiny Mac, but there's a whole song about it. Two beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, beef, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Okay, here we go. Tiny Big Mac, with tiny big dough.
Making tiny foods for tiny dogs is fun, but what about giant dogs? We should make giant food. Oh, 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 it's bigger than you. Today, we are going to make a giant 30 pound burger for a giant homeless dog. But there's actually a reason that I'm going really big on this project. You see, there's this dog, Migo, and he keeps getting passed by. So I wanted to do something next level so that we can get him the awareness he needs to get him adopted. This is a big video in so many ways because Virgo Dog Camera is on a mission to get 1,001 dogs adopted by the end of this year. And they're sponsoring this video. More on that later. I can't do this alone. I'm gonna need help. So I'm bringing in the cutest ever little Pitbull puppy assistant, Bonsai. This has to be one of the cutest pity puppies I have ever seen. His name is Bonsai. The tough thing is life has already thrown some pretty big challenges his way. You see, he has a condition called cerebellum hypoplasia, which means his cerebellum is underdeveloped. And that's a problem because that helps control his motor movements. Oh, jeez. Come here. Come here. Baby. What breaks my heart is someone didn't even give him a chance. When they found out he couldn't walk, they tossed him out like trash. Here we go, ready? Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, you're sitting up. Oh, 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 here we go. But here's the good news. Ty, the founder of Reverse Rescue, stepped in and said, I'll help give this guy a fighting chance. And that's important because over time, Bonsai can learn to walk. He will always have a wobble, but Ty's already started working on him and training him how to stand up when he eats. All right, just getting him to drink water. Boy. Bonsai is one of the most determined puppies I've ever seen and already making great progress. Here he comes. Uh oh, uh oh. And that's why I thought it would be really awesome to let him have some fun and be our assistant chef for this project. Helping dogs like Bonsai is just what we do on this channel. So if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification, and let's help some dogs. Ty, what's up, buddy? What up, man? You guys remember Ty, and this is the man, right? This is Bonsai. This is Bonsai. Wow, I mean, he is even cuter in person. Like, this is ridiculous. Is he gonna be available for adoption? He will, once we get him, you know, figuring out how to work with what he's been diagnosed with, then we'll uh, find the right family that can deal with it and that'll love him no matter what it is. Because there's nothing wrong with him. He just got dealt a bad card. Yeah. I want him to be my assistant sous chef and help me pick out some of the ingredients that are going to go on the burger. Yes, and Migo hasn't ate breakfast yet, so he is ready to go. So are you, you should serious? probably get to it. Here, here's the thing, actually, with the bread. When I was thinking about how do I make a giant burger, I looked it up. <laughs> And YouTube has everything. Uh, Tasty actually made a giant burger, so they actually had some great ideas, but since I'm a pet chef, I can make anything dog friendly. Now this is five pounds. A five pound brioche like this would make about 48 human buns. For us, my recipe here, this makes about 96 of our dog friendly sliders. Actually, the, actually, Blake, can you hand, yeah, check this out. So these right here, these are our sliders for dogs. There are dessert items that you can order for dogs. And this batch right here, that makes 96 of those. All right, so now this is our dog friendly recipe. I'm not using any wheat in here. And remember, you, you don't wanna feed your dog a three pound burger at home. I am an expert, this is gonna be a treat for Amigo. We want it to have a glisten, kind of a, a shine or a sheen, and so we can do that with an egg wash on top. And eggs are great for dogs. All right, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a topping of sesame seeds. Now this is good for dogs. In moderation, just like us, sesame seeds have a lot of health benefits. I think we need a couple more right in that area. What is that, dog bay? <laughs> dog bay. All right, let's throw this in the oven. All right, well that bread's a bacon, we gotta find Bonsai because I need some help on some of the ingredients that are gonna go on the burger. Okay, Bonsai, it's your first choice. Which topping should we put on Migos burger? Sardines or hot dogs? Let's see which one he wants. Oh, oh, oh. He says, I'll take both. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's a sardine. I think he likes a sardine. Oh, yes. Yeah, look at that. He's like, oh, wait, wait, hot dog, wait, oh. Oh, He's he so likes shaking. Oh, he likes them both. All right, well, I guess then that's it. Well, he does both. Okay, buddy. I wish you guys could feel just how heavy this is. Like, it is definitely 30 pounds or, or just short of it. I mean, look, watch. <laughs> almost broke that table. I might have been overdoing it a little bit. I think we could probably make two patties or three patties out of this. 
What should we do? Two or three patties? Three, for sure three. Three. As three. big as possible. That's a no-brainer, huh? Okay. All right, let's do let's do three patties. So it'll be a triple decker, 30-pound burger. So we'll try to get those about the same size. I think this should be a series. And I tell you what, if we get to 100,000 likes, I will make this a series. We will make another one. And next, I don't know, what do, what do we do next? Like giant pizza? Giant chicken nuggets? Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think we should do next for this giant food series. All right, get this one in the oven. Okay, good. Now, while the burgers are baking, let's go meet Migo. Migo's a fun-loving, happy dog. And Ty taking him in saved his life. Migo's story is truly inspiring. We originally got Migo from the shelter, but um, given his past, we don't know a lot about it. We just got him when he was about one third the size. He was super emaciated, you know, just super broken down as a dog. So he's came a long ways. He's obviously gained all of his weight back, but he's also one of our strongest dogs on the ranch. So if there's another dog that's in need, Migo gives blood. So he's given blood twice now to save other dogs. And he's just all around your, your goofy boy. But the thing is that, you know, with his past, he just wants to be able to trust someone. So when you meet him, you have to earn his trust. And then once you get that trust, you see the great dog that he is. All of our volunteers, he's their favorite dog, but we have so many other cute dogs that they pass right by him, just like adopters do. Let's go make this burger for Migo. All right, Migo, hold tight, buddy. We got a burger coming your way. So it turns out, you can't actually buy giant slices of cheese. Now, I could have got a bunch of like the Kraft singles, but that's a shortcut, that's cheating. Like I want a big sheet of cheese. It's gonna take a little time. You gotta put the cheese in, we gotta melt it, we're gonna have to pour it in the pan. It's not like you put it in the microwave, hit the start button, and the cheese is done. Huh, look at that. What? Oh, a giant sheet of cheese already done? <laughs> Oh, that was a good joke. Or was it too cheesy? <laughs> I mean, look at that though. That is pretty cool. Like that's a full sheet of cheese right there. I just poured it in and melted it into a pan and, uh, and then cut it in half. These will be our giant cheese slices. All right, stick with me here because it's coming together. We're about to have a giant burger. Let's get the bacon in the microwave there. Let's go check in with Bonsai. I need some help picking out some more possible toppings for the burger. Okay, Bonze, I need your help for the next topping. Should we do coconut oil or peanut butter? Which one, buddy? Daryl, put them side by side. Which way are you going? Okay, which one? I think peanut butter. Tom, yeah. what do you think? He I likes peanut, peanut butter. butter. Okay, peanut butter it is. Bonsai, good dog. Peanut butter, peanut, peanut butter. Oh, is that good? Bonsai's doing a great job. Keep it up, bud. Whoa, look at the size of those patties. I mean, those are bigger than my head right there. We gotta get some cheese on here. Let's get these back in the oven. We're gonna let them warm up. We're gonna check on our bread. Oh, that is heavy. Look at that. We've got the sesame seeds on there. You can see the A. Wow, look at that. Now that is a hamburger bun. Are you making sounds over there, Tom? Who <laughs> <laughs> let this guy in the bakery? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna take a little bit of this here. Mmm, that is good. You want, you want to try some? After sharing some of our beautiful bread with the crew, it was time for Bonsai to help us one more time with one more selection. Do you want a barbecue burger or just a regular burger? Nothing, nothing. So let's see. He, oh. he likes the not barbecue. <laughs> okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I would not have oh, guessed that. You are a funny boy. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for, the actual build of the burger. We've got to get all the toppings on there. Lettuce, bacon, everything. Maybe you wouldn't pick these toppings on your burger, but you're not a dog. All right, let's add the special toppings on there. Peanut butter, hot dogs, and sardines. All of those senses are gonna hit his nose at the same time, and he just, I mean, he'd probably even do the happy dance. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let's get everything else on there, including the cheeseburger patties. So delicious. Ooh, man, wow. This is potentially one of the best things I've ever made in my life. This thing was looking amazing, and it was stacked so high. Wow, look at that. Wow, oh wow. 
Okay, all I have to do now is put this top bun on, but I'm a little nervous. Uh, and this is a lot harder than it might look. <laughs> it has hot dogs and anchovies and peanut butter. Okay, here we go. Do, doing this for Migo. Doing this for Migo. Here we go. Oh, yes! Look at that. Wow. Wow. Yes! I cannot wait for Migo to see this. Wow! Oh god, okay, I think it's time. But before we let Migo just go for this, I think we gotta let Bonsai check it out. I mean, Ty, you wanna bring Bonsai in here? Let him check it out? Go for it, man. Explore! Oh, oh, oh. Bigger than you. You're doing pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like little Bonsai liked it a lot, but you can't have too much, man. Hey, thanks for all your help today, little buddy. Now it's time for the main event, where we bring in the giant burger for Migo. It is all going down right here. We are about to feed this 30 pound giant burger to a giant homeless pit bull. Three, two, one. Bring him on in, Ty. Oh, what you been waiting for. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's getting a little messy though, so I wanna help him out. I'm, I reset the burger for him so he can go at it again. Could I interest you in a Barker's Dozen? Today, I am opening the first ever donut shop for dogs. And I thought the best way to kick off the new donut shop was to host a competition to see who can make the best doggy donut. That's time, hands up. Done. Now the reason I actually wanted to do all of this is because of this homeless dog right here named Gary. Now I get it, when you look at him, you can see something is wrong. He looks happy, but he doesn't look well. I'll actually let Ty, the founder of Reverse Rescue, explain what's going on with Gary. Gary is the funniest, most happy little rhino pig that we have on the, the rescue ranch. Gary came from Devore Animal Shelter, had him brought over, he had severe mange. Demodex, so it wasn't sarcoptic. Sarcoptic is when it's uh, humans can get it. It's believed that Gary was dropped off by someone who was homeless or just couldn't afford to care for him as his condition worsened. This right here is my special event space and I cannot wait to put this to use. Take a good look at this space because it is about to be transformed. This awesome golden retriever's name is Dexter. His mom, Emily, is actually one of the two guest chefs today. Now she's gonna help make some awesome donuts for the shop and I know she can get the job done because she won first place in our last competition. I'm also gonna invite my friend Cassie Ho. She has the YouTube channel, Vlog Alotties. Cassie is talented, but she's never baked doggy donuts before. The good thing is her dog, Sir George, is also joining us and he is gonna be her inspiration. How do I know Rocky? Actually, we met when I was putting on this event called Puppies and Planks. It was a charity event to help promote adoption of dogs and also just the love of fitness and pets in general. All right, now Ty agreed to make the trek into Los Angeles with Gary, so he's gonna be here this afternoon. All right, now if we're gonna pull this off in the short amount of time that we have available, we're gonna have to split into team. I got a couple of guys that I know can design, they can build, they can get this job done, they'll work hard, I'm gonna bring them in. Okay, wow, this looks awesome. The donut shop dudes are well on their way, this space is already coming together, I can feel it. We don't have a lot of time though, so I can get the donuts started. And I have six ideas, and I'm trying to figure out which one would be the top one to do. I don't have a lot of time, but I do have a lot of ideas. And what I love is a good maple syrup donut, right? Have you ever have you ever had this? Is that a favorite? I mean, basically I love all donuts. Maple syrup donuts are fantastic. Here's what's going through my brain. There's a lot on the line. When you open any business, there's a tremendous amount of work and you have to really care about what the community is gonna think. In this case, 
the customer is Gary. Now the thing is, Gary's gonna be here soon. Because I'm doing so many things, I don't have time to focus on the design details, so I'm gonna put my energy into developing awesome flavor profiles for a dog's taste palette. So I thought we'd kind of span the gamut that's between sweet and savory. You know, we'll use maple, we'll do some carob. Now carob's like chocolate, but it doesn't have theobromine in it, so it's safe for dogs. The difference between a dog donut and a human donut is not a whole lot. It's more what we don't put in there versus what we do. We're not gonna use sugar, we're not gonna use hydrogenated oils or salts, but it still smells delicious and these natural ingredients really go a long way. While we're working on the donuts, Blake and Naveed are helping put together the donut shop. Now there's a lot going on, but I'm really feeling the pressure right now in the bakery because remember, it's a competition. And we're gonna go live, we're gonna have all of you judge this. So the pressure is real because there will be thousands of judges. So I wanted to surprise the judges with donuts that really stand out, something that's not normal, you know? So I decided, okay, why don't I go for indulgent foods? So my first donut idea was to make Nachos Supreme Donut. Dip this in here as the refried beans, I think. I'm gonna show you your yellow mix because I don't think this is gonna work, but what do you think? It's coming. It's like right there. It needs more, more yellow. It's like almost like half more, yellow. More yellow. Yeah. Sir George is uh, everything. He's a ball of happiness for me. He helps slow down time, which is crazy because my life is super fast paced and super busy. But when he comes to me, he actually takes his paw when I'm scrolling on Instagram or something and puts it on top of my screen so that I can stop and pet him. So in that way, he really slows down time and I get to spend more time with him, which is really cool. Helps me relax a lot. Thing is, we got a lot of donuts to make to be able to fill the donut shop with the donuts. Something that really adds to the time crunch is we have hundreds of donuts to make because we actually have to quiet on set. Yeah. <laughs> we pause for doggy water breaks. There's gonna be a lot of blue happening today. And then we have crushed peanuts to make it look like sand. So I'm just going to sprinkle these guys on the bottom here before it melts. My game plan coming into this second competition for me was really watching my time and really making sure that the treats will look good to people watching from home. We're now going to make the pasta. Boom. What's a maple donut without a very special topping? Bacon. Whoa, look at that. I was worried about Rocky, uh, but after seeing things, I think I have a little bit more of flair happening on mine, um, but I'm really worried about his flavors because I think he has a lot more savory stuff than I do. And that took us no time at all. I already feel like I'm ahead in the competition, which is good because I got to check up with the donut shop dudes to see how they're doing before I come back and make the other donuts all while I'm in steep competition against everyone else. And we can do it because we have to do it for Gary. Yeah. That this looks good. I like the donuts hung up and the decorations. I think it's looking really good. It is. I am a little worried though because we still got to do the table. We got to set up the donut wall. Like there's still a lot to be done in here. We'll get it done. Can you help us? <laughs> Can you help us with a couple of them? It's, it's heavy. All right, I like the way this is coming together. I'm gonna get back to the bakery. Look at that, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute new ball. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if I should go for the peanut butter or the frosting to bind this. So I might do a little bit of both, so let's see. Because the peanut butter I know the dogs will like, but it might be too sticky. So I don't know. So my original idea for the spaghetti didn't really pan out. I'm trying to cut up the donut into small little strips, but because the donut is so airy, everything starts falling apart, and I'm kind of freaking out because this was my master plan. So then I'm like, okay, maybe I'm gonna make some dough. So then I mix frosting along with crumbles of the donut, and then I make a dough, and I start, you know, cutting that, and that starts falling apart, then I'm really freaking out. I am not sure about that right now. I'm not sure what that is going to be. Now I'm gonna help Cassie a little bit. I know we're competing, but I do feel a little sorry for her. I mean, she's just not gonna be as good as us. <laughs> she's gonna need a little help. But, but I don't know, maybe I won't help her too much because I don't want her to win. This is all very confusing. This oh. some. Oh, actual cheese? Yeah. Should I do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do it, why not? All right then. 
the spaghetti situation. We are actually gonna make the noodles out of cheese. The hardest part about my donuts was definitely getting the little detail work on there, which I love to do, but having a steady hand is super important and sometimes we get a little shaky, it doesn't turn out very well. Not having a steady hand <laughs> is very, very hard to pack sometimes. So you gotta make sure that your lines are really smooth and then you also have to make sure it sets before you fill in the next color. Okay, I got like three or four ideas, <laughs> but I'm getting donut overload because I've got a lot of donuts, I've got a lot of ideas, I gotta keep them going. Ah. We can do something that is mind bending. Remember, we're making these donuts for dogs, not for humans. So we need to think like a dog. We're gonna cut this donut in half. You're going, Rocky, what are you cutting a donut in half for? That's a sandwich, not a donut. You're right. Donuts are for breakfast. And if you're gonna have a breakfast sandwich, you want something sweet, but sometimes savory. I've got just the thing. Let me go whip up an egg. Whew. Look at that. Got a fresh egg right there. Now, a breakfast sandwich isn't a breakfast sandwich without the sausage. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. All right, let's close that up. Now, I think we need to have something sweet on top, so let's do a little glaze. Look at that, it's coming together. I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous. Emily walked in here calm, cool, and collected, acting like, well, maybe she didn't have a plan. But look at her donuts. They are coming together really good. This makes me really nervous. I think Rocky's pitfall is that he's always trying to do too much at once, so I don't blame him for the basicness. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more creativity with those hot dogs. Cassie really surprised me. I'm super worried. I think she's my real competition in this because not only do they look amazing, I'm sure they taste amazing with you know all of the stuff that she put on it. I didn't see this coming, we got some stiff competition. I'm a little concerned. I'm very concerned. At least at least the dogs in the end will win. That's time, hands up! Done! Done! That's pretty good. Let's go! We're gonna do a competition and I need your help voting on which donut you think is the winner. Okay, so that's Sir George. So this is the s'mores inspired one. Okay. And we've got nachos inspired. And we have meatballs and spaghetti inspired. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Emily, she won the last competition. She made some too, and I'm gonna need your help voting. So tell us about your donuts. Uh, well, Dexter and I's favorite thing to do is walk to and along the beach. Okay. Just be at the beach. So I have a beach themed doggy donuts here. We have a pineapple one of our favorite fruits. Yep. And we have definitely lots of water. We have a surfboard. Whoa. Yes. These are my donuts. Now, so I took a little bit of a different angle. We went sweet and savory. Maple, bacon donut, and look at this one. A double-decker hot dog donut. Okay, but I need to know, am I the winner with my donuts? Is Cassie the winner with Sir George and her amazing spaghetti nachos and s'mores donuts? Or Emily, the winner here with Dexter. Dexter, Dexter, hi buddy with the beach theme. Let me know. The donuts are done. The votes are rolling in for the winner. I can't wait to see Gary just eat all of these donuts. But right now, I proudly present our new Doggy Donut Store. Well, welcome to the donut shop. Can I interest you in a Barker's Dozen? Huh? No? Yeah? Huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dexter. Dexter, you ready to try some of Mom's donuts? Let's give you the whole beach experience here, Dexter. Why don't we have you eat here at the doggy bar? We're gonna have him try these, but I wanna tell you something okay. before we let him try these. Congratulations, you're the champion of this competition. I won? Yeah, everyone voted for you. 
I'm like, I'm like super happy for you and upset. Um, Robbie, I am telling you, I have been watching so many cooking shows. I have been prepared for this moment. How did you outbest the pet chef? Like, I don't even know how that's possible. I mean, to be honest, you helped me out. You helped me out. Like, this cheese idea for the noodles, like, you inspired that because I didn't know I could use cheese. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe uh, Cassie's Dog Bakery around the corner. Maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see what George thinks because you won the design, but right? the real judge is our man, Sir George. Oh, and he's a hard judge. Very okay. hard. There you go, buddy. Which one do you want? Which one you want? There we go. Now, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 he just went for it. This is it, this is a big moment. Everything that we worked for is coming down to right now, what will Gary think? Because in the end, that's all that really matters. This is for him. So he's here now, let's see what he thinks. For the donuts. I say we just sit this down and see which one he likes the most. All of them. <laughs> well, what do you say? Should we go for it? Gary. Oh goodness. I helped plan the donut shop, I helped build the donut shop. But there's still just nothing like seeing it all done for the first time. I was blown away. I was my my heart was warm. Like it just it's neat to see something like this come together for a dog like Gary who's who's really ha never had all of this attention and deserves it. They love it. I mean, this is exactly what we want to see in a donut shop. And we're going to keep the donut shop open for a while so that if dogs want to come in and take pictures or, or just check it out, they can. This is what it takes to grow a business. For all of you that tell me that you want to have a business one day, make sure you pour your heart and your passion into it because that's what it takes. That's why you get up every morning. So special thanks to Google Smart Campaigns for sponsoring this video and a big thanks to Cassie Ho for being part of that. I will link her channel below. Go follow her. Definitely go follow Reverse Rescue so that you can stay up to date so when Gary's available for adoption, you're the first to know. And if you love this video, you gotta check out this video or this one over here. Either one, they're great.